Hang on a second there, gang. Before we get the show started, the Keep It Moving 2021 tour is in full swing, as you know. Yeah. We have some additions. Sure. We have some announcements. Mm -hmm. Kippy, straighten them out. Guys, we're coming to Providence, Rhode Island, August 11th. Uh, We're going to be in Boston, Massachusetts, August 12th. Shalink. We're going to be in New Brunswick, New Jersey, August 25th. Jersey. Stress Factory. We're going to be in Timonium, Maryland, outside Baltimore at Magoobies Uh on August 26th. Then the big thing, Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Look out. We're going to be there. At the fest. At the fest. A couple of festy boys. There you go. Uh, that's going to be at the end of September on September 23rd, 24th, 25th. Also, another big announcement. We're going to be at Skank Fest <laughs> in Houston. Uh, that's going to be no- November 5th, 6th, 7th. Plus, we're going to be adding more dates. It's going to be Bonkos. Get some tickies. It's going to be a good time. Can't wait to see you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm -hmm. It's a little show. We sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out if they grew up to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Take two. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you (laughs) on a beautiful day. We're down here at Antony's basement. A little concerning. What's up? Coming downstairs, I saw in the kitchen spoons. There's a spoon. Think an ice cream party or something? What are you thinking? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, it was a bent spoon. A bent? But Could have been really hard ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> uh, no, it said they were, uh, they were teaspoons. They're measuring spoons. She's actually making us uh, some nice tray of lemon squares, which I thought was nice. Uh, that's great. You ever have her cooking? Uh, I don't know. I mean, she's, she cooked me up a couple of hot doses before, <laughs> but... <laughs> Her Narcan and cream is fantastic. <laughs> Folks, my co-host is coming at you from Who across that? the table. Uh, that means this is a family episode. Mm-hmm. We're circling the wagons. I feel like it's been a while. It's been a while. A couple of eppies. A couple of eppies. We got some some questions to get to. Just a fam on this one. Uh, this gentleman is the CEO, CFO, CEO of... I'm everything. Are You Garbage? Um, he is uh, he's an international businessman, really. He has a multitude of offshore accounts with uh, different um, European banking institutions. Deutsche Bank. Do you? Couple. Kevin James Ryan, everybody. Hey, gang. Happy to be here. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Although that's going out please. the window. No one cares about that anymore. Which one? iTunes, my tunes. Yeah? Eh, it's whatever. I appreciate all Bezos. the reviews. They're switching it up. That's Steve Jobs. Keep showing your toes. And then YouTube.com, you can get a full video, HD video there. And as you know, those numbers are... True the roof. True the roof. Not bad. And then... But what about... I mean... What about... This Patreon.com. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you can hear the fucking Viking stove we got up here. Because this thing's fucking cooking, daddy-o. Woo! Open a cage. Have, thank you so much for the fucking support on Patreon. Uh, we fucking love every single one. If you've ever watched the show, listened to the show, yes. tweeted the show, sent it to a friend, bought a shirt, anything, a deck of cards, the fucking Patreon, subscribed on YouTube. We, we fucking love everybody. Thank and you so much. And please know, we're blowing the money as fast as we get it, and that's a promise we make to you. Yes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my niece's birthday party. You, you laid a couple of She's on all her? caked up over yeah. there. Yeah. How much you drop? And how old is this li- this young lady? Uh, she turned nine. Turned nine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let me guess. You probably get a guy like you. Let me guy like, Now, listen, I had already bought her. Oh, here we go. A present. <laughs> guy, hold on. I guy bought like her a you. present a couple, month, a couple weeks ago when I was home. Got her some dollies and stuff like that. Okay. And her parents said, no, don't do not do that. But, you know, of course, I got to show up. With something. Sure, sure, There's sure. family there. Sure. Uh, let me think. Ultimate I- face throw, too, because they did a presentation of presents. She sat there in a little chair opening them up. Uncle Hanks was last. I pretend like I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Where is it? Yeah. Uh, I thought it was behind under the tree. Whatever. <laughs> a guy like you. Guy who's currently wearing a sleep shirt from uh, Ralph Lauren. Uh... Fucking saleswoman at DXL, man. <laughs> Fucking piss me off. Um... Guy like you, nine-year-old niece, you know, you got a couple of bucks now. You're doing all right. We got a pretty successful podcast. You know, I know what you're making. 
a guy like you probably gave 400. 400? Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> what man. do you mean? You didn't give her 400? 400? She's, a, she's, a little, she's fucking nine. She's a little princess. <laughs> this, this bra. Listen. Yeah. Give well, me, you can be a little princess for 200. <laughs> I'll give, tell you that. Give me your address. I'll send her the other two that you fucking shorted her. You fucking. <laughs> hey, this is from Uncle Gippy. <laughs> Gang, how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinary? Yeah, oh, I forgot we didn't even bring in the. He's the, the magic I didn't, man. I didn't. That's why I'm your boy and I'm a professional. He's the magic man. He makes us all look good. We love him. You love him. Give it up for T Bone McMuffin. Is that Toby McMullen, everybody? What's up, dudes? Hey, pal. Hey there, T Bone. Yeah, about two more minutes and no intro for me. The comment section would have been going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> They're fighting. They hate T Bone. It's drama. T Bone's dead, man. <laughs> Uh, gang, this is a family episode. Thank you so much for tuning in with this. Um, before we get to the questions, I had well, you got co- something. I got a couple of things I wanted to true by you. Okay. Uh, no, you can't have an advance. <laughs> 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 you get paid when the rest of us do. Can I get that two hundred for my niche now? Is that possible? Crisp hundies though. Crisp. Yeah. Fresh. Got them at a grocery store. If you're going, if you're giving cash, it's got to be hundies. Unless you're like, Jam, I get it, whatever, but. Yeah, stack of 20s ain't bad. Throw it's got to be somebody. new, though. Otherwise, they smell like a fucking pizza place <laughs> or something. You know, the delivery boy had them before you. Get out of here. Hey, you never get money back? Where you're like, what the fuck? It's got what Parmesan on what it. What the fuck you doing with this? Hit the bricks. Chris Bundy's, I pegged you as a Chili's gift card kind of guy. No, come on. What? Uncle Hank? Are you kidding me? I'm fucking all-star. Class all the way. Whatever you need. Small stuff, I'm good. Big stuff, I disappear. <laughs> I'm aware. I've, I haven't gotten. I'm yet to get a birthday present from you. <laughs> Out then. When was your birthday? August. Wow! Happy birthday. Man. I mean, well, you missed ten of them. <laughs> 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 Fuck! What are you starting now? <laughs> Jesus Christ! You're like my dad. Couple of scratchers. Um, a, fr- fr- a friend of mine was discussing a trip that they have coming up, and. They were they were saying that one thing they really want to do is they want to go see some. Uh, the, it was some kind of chocolate factory or something like that. Mm-hmm. And my question, yeah, this friend of yours, is <laughs> <laughs> going to a chocolate factory. Foley's gonna get stuck in a pipe like Augustus <laughs> Gloom. <laughs> I gotta go cut him out. Uh, that that fucking chocolate river when I was a kid. That's what Man. you call your pants. Too. <laughs> <laughs> that was your underwear after after gym class. <laughs> Oh, I got the big man's number today. Let's go. Um, I, when we were staying in the hotel together, uh, I had done some business in the bathroom, uh, and I had to make that's sure. That's why you're not allowed. That's why we don't. That's why we don't stay together. Well, I had to make sure I flushed multiple times because I had fucking demon claw marks at the bottom. Oh, of the I've, thing. I've, I've, I've seen. It's like Dra- dragging it's like, him back to hell. It's like a goddamn, <laughs> it's like a goddamn exorcism in there. Holy <laughs> shit! You gotta have a priest read your shit's last rites. Oh, man, no, read it. Crosses to the- start turning upside down <laughs> when I walk into the bathroom. <laughs> Gets cold. What's all the flies in here? Huh? <laughs> Do you think it's trashy? Probably. To- <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think hey, it's, this is something? Yeah, I, okay. No, do you think it's trashy to go to the factory? Any fact, like you know, like oh, we got a tour of the factory. Are you a factory tour? I've guy? done it. Well, I told you way back in the early days of the pod. My mom took us to the sock factory. That was a thing. I rem- to get yeah, socks. She was picking up money. I don't know what was happening. I just remember being like, we were in the bad part of town too. We were in like fucking. It was like petty. yeah, but it wasn't for a tour. It was to buy socks for fucking. I think it might have been a combination of both. What? It was in like Bristol or Pendel or one of those fucking Levitt. It was somewhere. No, it was for t- it had somewhere to be- the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> the tour. I remember not wanting to get out. I remember that much. Not wanting to get out of the car. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Thought you meant you were in love with the place. <laughs> Can I live here? <laughs> Next to the no, tubes. I just remember being like, "Fuck this place." Um. I'm talking like if you go to the Guinness factory. I did the Guinness. Or... The Guinness is whatever. The Guinness. I, I've told you this. I, I think I'm sure I have at some point. I went to the Guinness factory and you go to like the fucking 90 minute ordeal. These are barley. This is hops. We're whatever. Yeah, I get it. Which here. stinks. But they do have like the highest. The Guinness factory has like the highest uh, bar. It's the highest. The tallest bar in Ireland or something. It's They have like this big 360 degree. Tallest. Glass view of a—it's like at the big, the top of a building. Like going to a rooftop. How do you bar. reach up and get your beer? 
Oh my God, you are so bad. What do you mean? The bar itself is tall. That's what I'm saying. How do you? Are you fucking with me? No. What do you mean? You have to be fucking with me. You said you're the tallest bar. Yeah, the bar stools are like barber's chairs. You pump them up and it raises. No, the you. bar oh. is on the roof. It's like the highest bar. Oh, the that's the not the tallest bar. Well, I mean, the tallest bar would be like you're leaning of, up to No, of it. the tens of thousands of people that are listening to this, you have to be the only one that interpreted that. Nah, I don't did know. you think that at first? Yes. Oh yeah, my see? god! I yeah. think I meant to say tallest building with a bar. I think I said tallest building with a bar. To you be honest didn't. With. You said tallest bar. Either way, it stinks. Whatever. Yeah. No. So I got up there and I'm like, I lost my ticket, and I was like, like on the fucking walk, and you redeem it for a free for a free beer, and they were like. I was like, ah, I didn't have, I was like, ah, can I get two beers? They're like, you can't buy them here. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I just watch how it was fucking made for 90 minutes like a jerk off. I can't get a fucking frosty pint. Let's go. Fuck, let's go, Timmy. Yeah. And then I, so I just had left and had to go buy again as elsewhere. It, st- it stinks. I only wanted to go for the, to have a beer at the highest point in Dublin at a bar or whatever. Like that was the only thing. Plus I was alone. I had to kill time during the day. You can only fucking you can only world use... smallest empanadas. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> right, well, I mean, if you don't get it, how, if you don't get your joke, how am I supposed to get it? <laughs> it was a play on the world's tallest. Yeah, bar. I got. I mean, I get to play. I uh, don't understand the, why empanadas. <laughs> <laughs> we're, I mean, we weren't in Mexico. What are you talking? Oh my God! Uh, who doesn't love an empanada? You know? I don't care where <laughs> I you're don't, from. I don't think they're at the bar in Ireland. I don't think the Guinness factory is serving empanadas. Could be. Ah, uh, I think it's trashy. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I agree. Okay, but what if you go to like the McLaren factory? That's a little. Di- that's that's a little different. I mean, even still, I, I admit, if I worked there, I wouldn't want a bunch of fucking bozos Listen, watching you would me never at work. Work there, but sure. At the Guinness factory, we're gonna, st- we're gonna start tours in here. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Top tier patrons get to come in and fucking talk on the mics for a couple of minutes. Got a page walking around. <laughs> I, got, I got a fucking wax T bone over there. <laughs> <laughs> He's bombing. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's trashy. I I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. Factory's lame. Going to the factory. We go to the factory. I don't give a fuck. I think I guess like if you went to like Hersh the Hershey factory, maybe that stinks. Might, yeah, yeah it I mean stinks. I'm not saying I've it's cool, but I'm saying I underst I can understand. You that. ever been to the Coca Cola factory? No. Been to the cocaine factory. <laughs> I used to work in a chocolate factory. I've, yeah, but that was afterwards. It was they weren't producing chocolate, were yeah, they? they were. I thought you were skimming the place uh, for well, copper. Well, wait, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're gonna have to beat that. You and your dirtbag old man. Yeah, all right, yeah, come on. We got it. We're gonna literally have to cut that. I'm sorry. Dude, the Coca Cola factory is insane. They have all the different types of Coke from all around the world. So they taste different for each country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So different in Russia sugars. it tastes like rocks and then uh, you know America it's extra sweet or whatever. This jelly bean, get out of here. <laughs> Fucking different Cokes. Come on, man. It's crazy. Go to a factory? Uh, yeah, no one's saying. We're, we're agreeing I'm with you. I'm shitting on it. Oh, were you? Jesus I thought he was just working in that rock bit. <laughs> working on his Russian rock bit? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a way to shovel this in today. Uh, I had a bit of bad out of the train. <laughs> looking, at across, looking across at a guy in a bootleg Baden full shirt. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's good. Um, yeah, I wouldn't do it. Is this you? I think you're talking about this. No, I'm not. No. No. I don't I don't go to factories. I wouldn't go to the factory. Okay. What they if were... it was like Are you a what? museum guy? Muse- yeah, yeah. I like a nice museum. Nice nice painting. Painting? Like that. A nice paint. I like a nice painting. 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 Or, or a statue. I like a nice statue. Or a triptych. All right, for you art history majors out there. Sure. You know? I like stained glass. I like a bust. So much as the next guy, like a tell, bust. I can tell. <laughs> Poking out of that fucking polo sleepwear shirt. <laughs> I don't like the planetariums, though. They're kind of fucking whack. You don't really see anything. Like the thing that they got over the next to the Natural History Museum on the west side, you walk in, it's just like pictures of shit. Like, what are we doing? Yeah, I don't know. You can't get a fucking asteroid in here? None of that. Th- asteroid? What? They have a couple, but they don't have enough. Yeah, they have fragments of asteroids, different worlds, galaxies. <laughs> okay. I mean... This guy came in. This guy goes home for the weekend, comes back all goofballs. <laughs> the fuck are they feeding you down there, Blue Bell? Patty, what are you doing? Mostly paint. Yeah, this guy's all fucking hopped up. <laughs> um, all right, let's get it. Do you want to get into some questions? Do you have any more uh, <laughs> fucking factory 
combos you want to talk about. I wanted to get your opinion. I apologize. Um, all right. This one is, this is, you know, I like to start off, uh, what a, what a good one. This is what we call in a biz, a home run. This is from Daniel. Uh, hey guys, I'm new here. Love your stuff. Have you ever made us, have you ever made yourself a sandwich to eat while you were making yourself a better sandwich? 100%. Ooh. That is a fucking brilliant That's a observation. Pro move. They make the half. You make like a half. I oh, typically yeah. go the heel, so it's got a little bit of density. I love the heel. Yeah, that's one. Big of the- heel guy. You a heel guy? No. Oh, oh you're Toby. nuts. Fucking That's guy. your youth. As you get older, you appreciate a you, good hand. You appreciate the end. You do. Yeah, it's like a, remember when it's you like were a, a strong kid? beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's the IPA of bread. <laughs> remember when you were a kid? I remember a couple of times, and she, my mom was pretty good, but I remember like once or twice. You know, she forgot to run to the store or something like that. I wasn't aware of it. I get to the lunch table. You give me a heads up on the way to the bus. You, we can you, work you, something out. You can get out in front of it. I can get out. <laughs> make, make fun of yourself before you get there. Well, that's fucking Fat Guy 101. Yeah, dude. Set me up. Fucking pulled out two of them. Not one, but two. It was like I was eating a peanut butter and jelly on a hamburger bun. <laughs> fucking get out of here. It's a ceiling tile sandwich. Yeah. Aww, I yeah, went home. A drop ceiling sandwich. I went home that day. I was like, never let this happen again. This do- this doesn't happen again. Yeah. Still ate the sandwich. Sure. I mean, you're a grown boy. <laughs> <laughs> Needs his calcium. Yeah. But I, need, I need my rich flour. What oh, else am I going to do? Love the end. Um, as I, that's what I'll do now if I'm making, you know. Oh, it depends on what I'm making. And it depends, you know. No, it, it, it could be tuna. It could be turkey. It doesn't matter. I know. But I'm making. I'm making a halfy. Sure, but I don't fuck. We don't. But we don't keep bread in the house. The bra. I don't. I try to lay off it because I. I do enough damage when I'm fucking out of the house. Of you course. know what I mean. So I don't keep it in the house. She don't eat it. You're like a pigeon in the park. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I'm fucking. I'm going at it with a raccoon. Um, you ever see that when you go by somebody's yard? And there's just pieces of bread there for the yeah. birds. Jesus Christ. My stepdad does that. He feeds the squirrels out Whole back. pieces? Uh, like if like bread, like, uh, you know, if like bread's getting old or they're not going to finish it, he goes out and throws it, in, throws it in the backyard. <laughs> Stale bread in those bags, man. <laughs> She'll knock man. you out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've had to explain that to my friends. They're like, what's this bag of bread doing with like, <laughs> it's like next to like my stepdad's <laughs> wallet and stuff. Like, what? <laughs> this guy loves his sandwiches, huh? <laughs> yeah, like, like, this bread's hard as a rock. I'm like, dude, it's for the squirrels. Don't touch it. It's for the squirrels. Uh, <laughs> yeah, big halfy guy. Love but it. When I do sandwich, I'm typically doing rolls because I'm down. I'm either down the shore or I'm, you know, I'm at I'm at Ma's, and she knows True. I'm coming home. She keeps a six or amorosos for the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Kippy loves a long amoroso. Six pack in the fridge. Yeah. Fucking get your head on straight know, after fuck, a long, long drive. day, long day of traveling. <laughs> get some fucking amorosos in me. Like an amoroso on the rocks. So I don't huh? really do bread that much anymore, but yeah, for sure. Of course, of you course. know what? The heel's not too bad on a grilled cheese either. Keeps no. the cheese in there. I tell you, you get older, you love the the heel's great. Yeah, and it is fantastic for a fucking for a half joint. Oh yeah, especially right over. if it's that potato bread, real thick, fucking nice on the inside. A little mayo, a little mustard, a couple pieces of cheese. Yeah, I know what a sandwich is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the pickle. Beautiful uh, question. Yeah, that's good. Love that. I love doing when you're making sandwiches at home. When you know it's you, when you spread everything out. You got the hey, you got everything out. You know what I mean. You leave the mayo, and mustard out. You're having a good time. The game's on. Bag of chips. Real slice of Americana, right there. When you're talking about feeding the squirrels. Where do you fall on bird feeders? I don't. I don't like bird. I'm deathly afraid of birds, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to say no to this. Real tough guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they used to dive bomb. Hey, Toby, when- is that Charlie Bronson over there? I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sandwich Steve, relax, will you? <laughs> That's donkey. <laughs> Whatever. I have. I gotta. I gotta write to defend myself, T. <laughs> and he's back. All right, let's go. This kid's good. <laughs> I don't know how that bozo was, but he's all right. This guy's, his new guy's great. <laughs> that, last guy, that last guy stunk. Good thing you got him out of here. <laughs> I just part my hair to the right. Um, garbage. Beautiful, but garbage. I don't know. They yeah. never last. They get. All, you ever see a fucked up birdhouse? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> It looks haunted. No, but I, I got an I got a, I got a dub says there's about two of them on your property oh, right now. Easily. 
I have a couple of slum lords over there. I remember the first time my buddy had one that fed like it's like sugar water for like hummingbirds or whatever. Those are nice. And I didn't. I literally didn't know hummingbirds. I thought they were tropical or whatever. I didn't know. I never seen one, dude. And we're sitting at my buddy Paul's out back in his pool, and there's a fucking there's two hummingbirds. Fucking, I panic. What is he? A, what is he? A Disney princess? They were. Over. Well, they had to feed her with like the sugar water, and I didn't know it was like a fucking. It was like two feet behind me, and these things. These things come in like fucking two F sixteens, dude. I fucking lost. I jumped in the water. Their hover control. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to dive bomb to get me, dude. I went under. Their hover control is fantastic. They're like two drones. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I fucking. Shit I didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't know anything about that. I didn't know they even had them in Pennsylvania. I would have had one of those. I love hummingbirds. Yeah, I didn't. I do. I literally thought they were in the Amazon or like the rainforest. I didn't know where the fuck they were. I swear to God, until fucking <laughs> I, we were in high school. <sighs> nope. Not not fucking with those things. Ooh, man. Gang, support for All You Garbage is brought to you by our good friends over there at Manscaped. Mm -hmm. And when I'm talking about Manscaped, what am I talking about? Talking about the lawnmower. Four. One point. Nope. Two point. Nope. Four point. Four point. Oh, baby. Baby, this thing is fantastic. It purrs like it's got a Rolls Royce engine in it. <laughs> it does, it's yeah. just, it feels Ooh. like quality. Mm -hmm. It's got the light on it. Trimmed it right up, real nice. If you're not taking care of your downstairs, you're a bozo, especially with this heat. You yeah. gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta weed the beds. Sure. Uh, they have the best in men's below the waist grooming champion of the world, baby, is Manscaped. Champ. When it comes down to it, um, you get the shit. It's got a light on it. It's waterproof. The whole nine yards. I don't know about you guys. I mean, th this time of year, the summer, you got to be taking care of the business down there. I do do it in the shower, too, because I like it goes down the drain and then collect it. And no no, no mess. mess. Yeah, 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 yeah. I use it on my face. I'm crazy. I'll, I don't give a fuck. I use it right on my face. I trim up. It gets me down here. Real nice. It does cut close. It's nice. Ah, dude, why not? Yeah. Um, also, I back in the day, I used to use blade and cream like a like a like a wacko. Really? Blade and cream down there. You Pull out the shaft, shimmy it up a little. It's dangerous. Couple of nicks and cuts down there. Jeez. Not too good. Sweeney Todd. Yeah, so check out the lawnmower 4.0. Uh, it's got different lanes, so you can customize the trim that you're looking for. Um, you get free 20% off. You get 20% off and free shipping with the promo code garbage at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Use the promo code garbage. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job. Uh, and that's with a well-designed, sleek, and optimized trimmer that makes shaving shaving time your favorite time in the bathroom. Perfect way to say it. That's some that's some good copy right oh, there. Oh yeah, guys. Uh, Manscaped.com promo code garbage. Gang, are you garbage? Is brought to you by Movement. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about them. Top notch, these guys. Top notch operation, man. Couple of dreamers, couple of college kids, couple of dropouts. Yeah. Thought they could do better in the watch market, mm -hmm. and they absolutely hit an, a fantastic home run. <laughs> They sent us a couple. Beautiful. Got the watch. We got the sunglasses. Beautiful, beautiful products. Yeah, they moved into sunglasses. Unbelievable. Looking fresh. They wanted to make things that were quali that a quality product that looked fancy, but it was still under a decent budget. Sure. And they accomplished that to such a degree. Out of the park. Here's this. What? You ready to get your hair blown back on this one? Hit me. You go to movement right now. What's that? Site-wide sale. Stop it. Telling you right now no. how much you think. 5%. 5%? Sure, that'd be great. Keep going. 10. Keep going. 15. Nah. 20. Ah. 25. 28%. What? Toby, pull the plug. Holy cow. These guys are bonkos over there. <laughs> yeah, guys. And all, jo uh, all jokes aside, though, the watches are beautiful. The sunglasses are beautiful. They look cool. Mm -hmm. They feel cool. They feel like, you know, it feels doesn't it feels awesome. No, yeah, it's good. It's it's high I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm it's, sorry. I'm it's excited. high quality I'm sorry. stuff. I'm excited. It's high quality stuff. I got good the glasses. Stuff. You got the watch because you're a watch guy. Everybody knows I'm a new yeah. glasses guy now. I'm rocking the shades. Real cool. Real cool color. Real cool lenses. My wife got the the blue the to black out the blue lights. Nice. Yeah. Um. The premium, the premium blue light glasses. They brought, so if you're looking at the screen and stuff, um, it's good stuff. Uh, it's a perfect gift for family or friends. Movement is going all out for their eighth birthday, and this is their biggest sale of the year. Take advantage of these price points before they go because they ain't going to stick around forever. Celebrate eight years of movement with 28% off-site wide, like the big man said. 
So don't miss Movement's biggest sale of the year. Go to MVMT.com slash garbage. One more time, that's 28% off storewide at MVMT.com slash garbage. Mm -hmm. Join a movement. Stamps.com, stamps.com. Why didn't I know earlier about stamps.com? Because you're a bozo. I am a bozo, and I've done a lot of waiting around in the post office. Mm -hmm. Stamps.com has changed all that. Game changer. We made the call. We had the cards made. We sent the cards out using stamps.com. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Yeah. They save thousands of businesses. Sure. Time and money. Mm-hmm. We're a small business owner. If you're a small business owner, you need stamps.com. Yeah, guys, you can mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer, send letters, <laughs> packages, and you pay less, a lot less with discounted rates from USPS mm-hmm. and UPS. UPS, all, too. That's crazy. All you need is a computer, a printer, the internet, bada bing, bada boom. You can do it in your car. You can do it in your RV, your house, your apartment, your barn, wherever you live, you can do it. It's easy peasy. Like the big man said, we sent out all the cards, over thousands of decks of cards. We sent it. We were in here, printing it out, bada bing, bada boom. One day we did like 500. I think we did it start to finish in under an hour. It, it starts cooking. That printer Honestly, starts. Honestly, cooking. Printer starts spitting them out, bing, bang, boom. You're up and, you're up and running. It's easy peasy. Um, they offer deals that you can't get anywhere else, like 40% off USPS and up to 66% off UPS shipping Woo! rates. What are we even talking about, people? Bonkos. Uh, and with their switch and save feature, you can quickly compare carriers to find the best rates every single time. I love that. Stop going. Stop wasting time by going to the post office. Go to stamps.com instead. There is no risk. And with our promo code GARBAGE, you'll get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage in a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. You can cancel any time. There's nothing to cancel. You just easy peasy. If you don't use it, you don't use it. Whatever. Yeah. When you use it, use it. We have it sitting over there when we need it. Bada bing, bada boom. Plug it in. You're up and running. It's easy. Just go to stamps.com. Click the microphone at the top of the homepage. Type in garbage. That's stamps.com. Promo code garbage. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office. Again. Now back to the show. The squirrels always get them. I'm afraid of the squirrels. That's too. the big thing. I love squirrels. I'm afraid of creatures and <laughs> critters, man. No. My, my wife's like, oh, look at the squirrel. Like, this is a New York City fucking squirrel. Mm-hmm. It's like, these ain't like pet the squirrels. Mm-hmm. This ain't the country. They're li- I like the squirrels in the city. No. No? No. Cute little squirrels running around Central Park. Cute little squirrels. Yeah, they are, right? Right. I only possibly Probably got drugs on them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. No, I don't fuck. I do not fuck with them. I like. I'll go out of my way if one like is is jumping around. I did see that uh, they caught uh, Dude, Komodo dragons are creatures. Hummingbirds are not creatures. I don't yeah. fuck with Komodo dragons or those or those lizards that swim in the water <laughs> that look like mini Godzillas. No. Get the fuck out of here! Ew, no I don't way. care where that sandals is. I ain't fucking I, staying. Nah, they cut, did you ever see them? They jump in a pool. They'll come at you. What? Oh yeah. I don't even like a the Komodo li- dragon or just a lizard. No, the li- Komodo <laughs> Where dragon. Where are you going? That's Komodo dragon. <laughs> I mean, I know Wildwood's bad, but goddamn. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not Avalon, but we don't have fucking Komodo dragon. They got sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> the dragons. <laughs> They're bad kids. Those <laughs> okay. Wait, Tattoos, something. What were you talking? What jumps in the pool with you? Like the monitor lizards or whatever. Yeah, the, no. Not, yeah, no. I can't do it. I like the little Johns. That no. You see. What the little salamanders? In Florida, they're cute. No. Little geckos. They'll get in the pool. I fuck. <laughs> I've ruined a family vacation that way. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. I don't fuck with lizards, snakes, <laughs> serpents, nothing, dude. Snakes get out of here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't fuck with them. Nope. The other thing I don't like about about Hawaii is uh, is that they have centipedes there. You know oh no, yeah, no, Dude. I saw one of those in Colombia. Had a fuck, had like lobster claws on it. I'm like, what are we doing here? <laughs> this isn't safe. Go back inside. Cigar in its mouth. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. No, thank you. I don't. I don't like animals. Dog, domesticated ones I'll do. Cats, whatever. What? You love it. I love animals. Not animals like wild animals. Like a wild horse? You wouldn't appreciate the beauty of a wild stallion running through the pasture? Yeah, I mean, when do you see that? <laughs> I got better chance of seeing a fucking kimono dragon. Check out Yellowstone on Paramount TV. It's a pretty good show. That, yeah, whatever. That's fine. A horse isn't going to fucking, you know, run up and start nibbling. They'll fuck you up. I used oh, to get man. scared of horses because they kick you I when you walk this. behind them. Oh. 
well, I don't know if I ever told you. I went to this fucking after school thing because my mom. So it was like kindergarten was a, a sock half- factory. Yeah, you just told <laughs> me. <laughs> I was doing third shift. <laughs> It was after preschool. It was like preschool was only like 9 to 12 or whatever, mm-hmm. right? There was like a morning shift and an afternoon shift or kindergarten, whatever the fuck it was. And for whatever reason, they had like a, uh, another place, a second location you could go to. Not Breezy Point, Rainbow Academy. I don't know what the fuck it was. But they had a horse there. And it was like, oh, you get to play with the horse, dude. And we went up to feed this thing apples. And you ever see the foam that fucking forms around a horse's mouth when he's eating? Oh, I can still smell. Dude, I was like. This thing's ODing. I was like six, being like, get this thing the fuck away from me. Is it snack time yet? What are we doing here? Fuck, I got to feed this guy my apple? Fucking dying over here. Yeah. Oh, dude, the fucking foam. It's like, buddy, get an napkin. <laughs> There's chicks here, man. Come on. I'm trying to fucking close over here. Ah, <laughs> oh, horses are gross, dude. <laughs> fucking clean yourself up. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I remember that being on like doing like the Great Adventure Safari where you drive around. That's garbage too, man. Oh, I did that, and the fucking monkey started ripping my windshield <laughs> off. My windshield wipers off. What the fucking six? Hey, man, those are Rainex. <laughs> <laughs> those were aftermarket. Oh, people with the double, the double, the double wipers. <laughs> yeah, I got hemmed up in a Six Flags. <laughs> Thought I was fucking Johnny Cool Guy. Nope. <laughs> Fucking zebra came up, started fucking chewing my my stripes and shit. Ah, man. We were at a zoo in D.C. and my whole family. I was sitting Quit there. Quit bragging. <laughs> How the shit to see in Washington, D.C.? You go to a zoo? We went for lunch. What do you want? I mean, you got all the monuments, the White House, the Pentagon. You guys are fucking staring at the gorillas. Yeah, I, these monkeys were in the thing. and they Always were... looking at the monkeys like, hey, you going to finish that? <laughs> You're crying or sweating or something. I'm laughing. Uh, monkey was swinging around, fucking swings right towards the glass, takes a dump midair. <laughs> <laughs> <and> just... <laughs> My aunt's like two feet away from it, just like they're beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> right on the fucking. I thought at the at the Cape May Zoo, uh, down in Cape May County, uh, like Wildwood. It's like the zoo down there for the show. We went to see the lions, and we have a picture. I gotta get, I gotta get my hands on the fucking picture. It's at my aunt Patty's house. It's it's early '90s, probably like '92, and it's me and all my cousins, my brother, and we look like. Fucking every different version of Joe Dirt. I mean, dude, there's fucking. I'm talking the high socks, timeline, the, Joe Dirt. Oh, dude, it is a tough look. <laughs> and we were banging. There's a lion sleeping. We were banging on the fucking can. He pissed. He woke up, took two walks back and forth. We're like, oh, look at him. Comes over, dude, and a fire hose of fucking yellow stanky lion pee all over us, <laughs> all over. I dove right behind my aunt. I was like, I, you ain't fucking getting me, dude. I keep your head on. I keep my head on a fucking swivel around live animals. Uh, man, but on the safari, they come and they stick their faces in the window. No. And when you're a little kid, you don't realize they're gonna have like, you know, <laughs> just like, just like slobber and shit all over them. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, mm. Yo, dude. I'm not gonna be able to eat for the rest of the day. That's tough. <laughs> oh God. Pop a cert, will you? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Cam. Yo, Joe Camel. Fucking relax. Uh, yeah, I don't. That's not for me. None of that's for me. Uh, Great question. About the sandwiches. <laughs> oh, is that what, that's one of us, the sandwiches? I imagine you're a birdhouse family, though, right? You a birdhouse family? No fucking way. No? It's shit all over your lawn. What? Yeah. We don't... We don't, we don't They're like... not condors. What do you mean? It's fucking bird it's not, shit. It's not a pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting fined by the homeowners association. <laughs> I know. I don't. We we never attracted animals. To, my, I mean, now the squirrels, but like we don't really bring them in. Keep them at a distance over at the neighbors. You know what I mean? Mm. I don't, don't. The deer. There's a lot of deer now. Yeah. Deer like just in the backyard. They'll well if you're like sitting in a chair in the backyard, they'll come up like fucking twenty feet away from you. Yeah, I think deer are beautiful. Uh, but yeah, the Lyme disease. I'm going near them. I don't like it. I mean, you're not making out with them, are you? There are ticks everywhere. 
Oh, you're nuts. Get that shit. They're not going to jump at you. <laughs> the ticks do. No, they don't. Not the deer. Well, I mean, how close are you getting to the deer that a tick's going to jump at you? It doesn't you? matter. They're, they're everywhere. People aren't getting Lyme's disease by fucking hanging out with deer. The ticks are all over the place. They get you. I don't like that. Yeah, so it has nothing to do with getting close to the deer. Your initial thing was, I don't get close to the deer because I don't want Lyme's disease. I guess that makes sense. Hmm. Look at that. You turned me around. <laughs> I literally don't know what side either one of us are on at this point. <laughs> um, all right, this one's from Joshua. Do you jiggle the coin? The coins or keys in your front pockets. Oh, yeah. That's a big. Love it. Big move. Love it. I was right when you got a car. You had to flex that. Sure. Oh, I just got my keys. Do the flip. Gee, yeah. Oh. You used to do the flip with the laminate, the, too. The lanyard. Not lanyard. The lan- yeah. Dude, if you, had a, if you had like a fucking some sort of college lanyard when oh, you were in high school. Yeah. Yeah. Bike lacrosse, fucking twirling it around, keys yeah. around the neck. Backwards was a big thing. Oh, was it ever? You couldn't do it forward. That was like as device of a one strap, two strap on a school bag. Mm-hmm. You had to go backwards. Cool guys went backwards. Wait, say that. Wait, what's one strap, two strap? You go one straps, cool. No. What? Two. Wait. It, it was, it changed when I. It's, it was one strap. It was all through the 90s. No book bag was cool in the 90s. Just have your books under here. What? Yeah, they were what for you, show what, anyway. What are you, in Greece? What are you talking about? <laughs> Always got his books in a belt. <laughs> what? Like Dobie Gillis walking around? <laughs> That's a deep cut. <laughs> I mean, would you, would you walk like this with him and you fucking you got pencil sticking out? I would have my, 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 my wrestling bag or whatever bag, you know, for like, you know, change of clothes, sports stuff. I never carried any fucking books around. Oh, really? Me. Fucking academic like you? Yeah, just it was always cool to have like one or two books just in your thing. Well, we so. see, we see how far cool got you, <laughs> <laughs> guys. I'm gonna be cool, <laughs> real cool. Fucking wearing pajama shirts right now. I never got a Jan Sport or any of that stuff. Oh, uh, we had a Jan Sport. Nah, yeah, never Jan Sport kid. Mm. Um, but it was it was in elementary school. It was one that was cool. One was cool. The '90s one was cool. Then in high school, you did two. You did one. You were a Dork. Two See, became cool. I feel like your generation is when they started really packing those fucking school bags out. And like they would like get like lo- there was so many books. Some some girl walking around with like so many yeah, books. Yeah, where the straps are ripping and Jesus stuff. Yeah, that's not I mean, that's that's not that's the exception to the rule. Yeah. That's not the average guys walking around with every textbook they have. I I can never do that shit. I hate carrying stuff around like that. I like what, to keep what, it loose. What was your locker situation like? I imagine Foley was just like a bad lawyer. It's just papers spilling out. <laughs> it's a mini fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Open it up, fog comes out. We had dry ice in here. (laughs) (laughs) Anybody want any uh, Snickers or anything? I keep it cool. Hot towel for anyone? (laughs) (laughs) Lemon water. Um, Our school had, uh, you had one, you had your locker, and then above your locker, you had a little square one, a little John. That had a little, it had a little dead man switch inside the. So that's the second <laughs> time you said dead man switch. You said not today. I know, but before. Yeah. You said your well, toilet had one. <laughs> uh, we made the joke that it was an ejector seat. Now you got a little switch there to pop open the other one. That's where you put a couple of things. And yes, it was usually gross, but it was always great when you cleaned out your locker. That or your desk when you were a little kid and you really cleaned out your desk, made everything real nice. Stole a couple of pencils from somewhere. Never get your hands in the fucking in the what's it called room? Supply room. Supply room, room yeah. yeah. Oh man, a supply room at an elementary school, a good night. Strawberry erasers for everybody. Oh man. No, you never did that? No. I, I mean, what... I don't think they had they had like a clo- I mean, who wanted to steal pencils? So you have nice fresh pencils. Just knocking over the cafeteria for the cash <laughs> register. I'm not fucking <laughs> I'm letting you guys do the petty crimes. I'm going for the cash. Going for the strong box. Yeah, what the fuck are we doing here? Go for the school store. Something. Something worth doing the time. I'm not going to serve a nickel for a couple of fucking weeble wobbles. My senior year in high school, uh, we, we had this kid on our wrestling team. Real tough kid. Real crazy kid. We were uh, we were wrestling this school. It was a Saturday afternoon. We were kill- we were beating them like a million to nothing. Mm-hmm. This kid's in the fucking school store cleaning up. Fucking out the yeah, not he got caught robbing the school store. That the always school. happens. That was always the kid. That kid was always on the wrong side of the track. Yeah, so. school store was great though. Love all. I, I hated learning. All right, but I loved you all that say. stuff. I loved like all the. I mean, I liked learning some things. I was a terrible student. I guess is a better way to put it. 
but I loved like new books and new pencils and new pens and erasers and like all that kind of stuff. The stuff was great. Yeah. Trapper keepers. Very cool. The way that all that stuff smelled. I used to like the way everything smelled. Did I, you chew your pencils? Oh yeah. Chewed my pencils. I used to take my pens apart like they were like they were nuclear bombs like and like guns. put them back yeah. together. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking good time. Try times. to do a blindfolded. Mm-hmm. You learn something new every day. There you Big go. Big Trapper Keeper guy. Would have never guessed. Really? You. They were huge. Yeah. 80s. Five star. When five star came through, that was it. Yeah. That was a five. You had yeah. to have five star. Otherwise, you hit the fucking Yeah, break. the Trapper Keepers, they, they weren't assembled well. But I had one with Optimus Prime on the cover. Fucking sick. It lasts for like two weeks and they get all broken up. But we ain't going to do oh. They don't make them like they used to. They don't make them like they used to, Kippy. Truer words. <sighs> Were never spoken. I really would have pegged you for a better student, to be honest with you. Moving on. Really? I was good at English. No, you're not. You just said go to museums and see paintings. You say milk. Literature. I was good with literature. Like poems and stuff. I like that stuff. You know? It's good. Junior year. Mr. Blanche. Great teacher. Great teacher. But you are Blanche. (laughs) You are in that chair. (laughs) All right. Moving on. Um... This is from Jacob. Ever tape over the name on a jersey when the player gets traded and Sharpie in the name of the next bozo? No. You see that guy at, like, Flyers games Dude. and shit? How about like, the guys burning their jerseys? <laughs> Somebody fucks up in a game or, or leaves the city. Get out of here with that shit, yeah, man. Yeah, that's bozo stuff. Can you imagine your kid watching you in your backyard burn a fucking, uh, you know, Tom Brady jersey or something like that? Come on, man. Got to support. You the paid a hundred bucks for it. Got to support the team. It's a different city. Got to support the team. What are you gonna do? At a certain point, you just gotta be like, come on, what are we doing? Yeah, no, I mean, it's definitely. You ever see your dad burn a jersey? No. Yeah, exactly. But tough look. Yeah. Uh, the next one is ever buy a sports jersey that was blank on the back to save a couple of bucks. <laughs> That's a dead giveaway that you're hemmed up. <laughs> you're hanging out at a fucking sporting event with a blank jersey on. I like that more. I like that more, to be honest with you, because if you're a grown man, now you're a little kid, you get whatever you want. But if you're a grown man and you got like a younger guy's name on the I back of your jersey. I never understood that. I mean, you I'm, I don't have another team. man's name on my back. It's no, so it's weird. about a man. It's just, you know, you're wearing another player's thing. I think the you know another the, player. So in your reality, you are also a player. You know what I mean. Fully all goes to game, suited up, ready for a we need a fifth man. <laughs> yeah, Take your helmet on, shoulder pads. <laughs> just a baseball game. Yeah, just <laughs> a baseball. No, I think it's okay to have just a regular jersey, especially a baseball one. But if I did, I'd have Bryce Harper. <laughs> Um, this one's just Bonkos. This is for Mario. First time asking, ever been shot or shot out by mistake by, while hunting with your family? I mean, you know, if your fucking uncle's taking shots at you thinking you're a fucking moose or something, it's a bad look on all accounts. That's so true. Yeah. We weren't hunters either. Now, petrified. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, this is from Preston. Uh, are you garbage if you only air condition certain parts of the house? Yes, you are. That's how I, that's how the Foley's operated. Sure, you got most, gotta, most de- of the 1980s. It depends how hot it is as well and kind of what equipment you're working with. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. At our place in Wolf- if it's If it's window units, that's understand. You keep that fucking door closed. God you don't, damn you right. You don't fucking air condition the hallway. You're not 100%. a fucking jerk off. Keep that door closed. Yeah, we used to, we had one window unit uh, at uh, the second house that we lived in when I lived in Wilkes-Barre, and I remember one summer, it was fucking boiling, and like, we all slept downstairs in the living room, yeah. and my mom put blankets over the, like the- The, the walkway, or the, the wall, entrance. The, yeah, the yeah. entrance way. And we were all stayed in there, all snuggled up, all cozy it's on like the couch. like a meat locker. Oh, it was freezing. Walking through those plastic fucking things. Dude, yeah. <laughs> but, dude, you'd walk out of there. You'd, get, you'd have to sit down. you get dizzy. That's what we... So, we... Now, we have we have three window units in our apartment. You have three window units? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're doing all right. I have two. Yeah, I got three. Crazy. Yeah. Um. So, my the way my uh, apartment's set up, you walk in, and it's straight. It's a straight hallway. Mm-hmm. To the right is the kitchen. And there's a door on that, a pull like you that like there's a French door on it. We have French doors in our apartment. 
There's a French door on that closes our kitchen and dining. French and, doors meaning there's windows in them. Yeah, like the window. Panes. All right, I was yeah, gonna yeah. say, if you have a door in your kitchen, no, it's a French door. Yeah, it's fucking. I don't know. It's it's the style of those apartments. I understand. Yeah. So there's that close. So you can close that off. There's one in there because there's also a dining section in there. There's mm-hmm. a kitchen and dining section. Dining section. Listen to this fucking guy. So breakfast nook, whatever you want to oh, call it. Oh, God. Um, that always <laughs> makes me hungry. Breakfast nook. Think of nooks and crannies. crannies yeah. yeah. Shout out to Thomas. I'm going to start calling you smuckers because you're jamming up the works. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We're having fun here. So that closes off. And then to the left, we have the living room and like office area. Mm-hmm. And that's got one in it. That also has a French door. Wait, hold on a second. Is there was there is there an air conditioner in the kitchen? I forget. Yes. And one in the living room. Yes. Okay. And that closes off. And then we have one in the bedroom that also Obviously, there's a bedroom. So what? The, the smart play is to turn them all on, open up all the doors, and get the whole place no, ice we cold. Keep, no, we keep that fucking. So you, you got walk- the bathroom and stuff. So, dude, you walk into the fucking. You walk from the living room. That hallway is like no man's land. Why do you do it that way? Don't the, you like when the? I like when the bathroom's air conditioning. Sure. It's just it doesn't it doesn't fully cook that well. You're better off closing the door. Plus that electric really? bill. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Well, it's a big hallway. The fucking. And also, like, the one in the living room is... I don't like that. Okay, well... Walking out in the hallway, cooking. Yeah, well, you stay in the... That's so why you fucking stay at home base. You only go for supplies when it's desperate. <laughs> you stock up before you get in there. I t- uh, we talked... There was one summer. I think it was two summers ago. <laughs> I think it was two summers ago. Remember, I didn't have money for a uh, window unit? Recall. Yeah, I was, like, re- we, I, we, were, we were, like, really hemmed up. <clears throat> and I was so poor. It was Airbnb in my fucking apartment. Remember that? Yeah. And stayed there a couple of times. <laughs> I ran it out to you. I sleep on the couch. <laughs> Kippy, I want to rent your spot, but you got to stay there with me. Four uh, stars. And I remember getting all I had was a box fan and I put cold water. I like put cold water in the bathroom and let that like then the fan thinking it was and it did a little bit cool off the air that was coming at you. Dude, I remember hallucinating in the middle of the night. It was so hot. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. I think my brain was melting, dude. For 200 bucks, you come sweat in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you were renting that place with no AC? No, I got an AC before I started renting oh, I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, <sighs> yeah. But it was bad. It was that, it was, that was the apartment. Kevin Ryan reality tour. <laughs> <laughs> the real Kevin Ryan. Um, you get to work in a law office. <laughs> you get to have an angry dollar slice of pizza. Go home, masturbate furiously. <laughs> then hit the open mics. You'll be back home by 4 or 5 a.m. For a nice hot night of sweating. Well, there was only like two outlets in the whole apartment. So we had to have the fucking. So weird. We had to have the extension, like an outdoor extension cord fucking running from the living room to the bedroom. <laughs> Tough look. Brilliant question. Um, I don't know if we've done this one, if I've read this or not. Uh, this is from Nicholas. Ever install an aftermarket cup holder in your car? We have talked okay, about this. Fuck. Yeah, that's. I remember that's. I remember we talked about the ashtrays. Yeah, those aftermarket ashtrays. <laughs> Any anything when, those things are like you ever the get suction a, or the arms uh, or the clips. It's bad. You get into an Uber sometimes. You're like, is this the what are you, fucking Millennium Falcon over here? Let's go. Just to get our cab ride home from fucking Cleveland or Laguardia the other day, he put it right in the he put he suctioned it right in the middle. I'm like, he was doing this to see around. The, I'm like, <laughs> What the fuck? I know, dude. It was I was I had my fingers crossed that whole fucking trip. It's in a flight simulator, <laughs> man. Trying to get me home safe. <laughs> Does these any of these air conditioners you have right now sure. have Bluetooth in them? Bluetooth? Yeah, we can turn ours on from our phone when we know we're coming home. I think the new one does. Real nice. I think yeah. the new one does. I didn't. Real nice. I don't even use the remote. I'm old school. I want to go up and fucking as soon as you order the dessert, hit the fucking AC. Oh, I leave ours. I leave ours cooking. Really? Yeah. Even when you go out? Yeah. Just on I, all day. I turn it down. Like, I step it down to keep it cool. You never lose the room. You don't want to lose the room. You lose the room, you're bad news. I'm trying to retake that shit. <laughs> it's like fucking it's like taking, it's like taking Normandy again. <laughs> it ain't easy. So I lower it. You know what? I'll put it on, like, a schedule. Like, keep it at 62. Keep it at the coldest. It's, like, chilly. Keep it at the coldest, and then we'll leave. I might bump it up to like seventy or something, just I can't to maintain. Believe you don't it. do the whole apartment, so the hallway's never air conditioned. No, but we don't. We're not in the hallway. We're only in the hallway when I walked. It's literally the width of this table. 
Like, what am I doing in the hallway? I don't know. And it's just weird. You're closing doors behind you. It's air conditioning. You got to close the doors. It's air conditioning. Foley would pass out before he hit the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I'm going to the kitchen. You need to. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. He's got a shirt wrapped around his head like he's in the fucking desert. This is all I could find. <laughs> you got to roll of toilet paper, <laughs> you know, the remote. It's like a quiet place. <laughs> um. All right, let's see here. This is from Dalton. You or anyone in your family ever done a competitive eating competition? That's God, That's a hard no for me. I did in elementary school or high school, but I can't remember what I ate. I don't think it was pies because I feel like that would have stuck in my brain. Maybe watermelon? Ooh, they were big at the swim club growing up. Yeah, a watermelon eating contest that I vividly remember my brother being in. But that's more of like a game for like that was like a game, like a contest for like kids. Yeah, we did some, some kind of assembly in high school or something like that I can't remember. What Watch how much this kid can eat. <laughs> come one, come all. It's just lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. They're running down the hallway. Foley's going for the record. Huh? It was something? But no, that's garbage. Sure. Yeah, yeah it's a trash. Uh, this is from AOC. Is there any classy name that ends with the letter Y? No. Toby. Toby. Henry's pretty classy. I'll get Henry I never thought of. I think they're thinking more of like the Billy, Bobby, Tommy, Johnny, Sandy. Like the girls' names in Y. Sure. Can't, you know, that kind of stuff is tough. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's tough, tough look. look. But Toby. Toby's tough. But that's not your government name. It is not. It is a nickname. That's a nickname. Uh yeah, Thomas. Did you ever wear emo stuff? Did you ever wear like the underliner? Did you ever paint your fingernails? No, fuck no. Eyeliner? No. Black trench coat? No. No? No. I was like a element t shirt kind of guy. Element t shirt? Did you ever spike your hair? Did you ever bleach your hair? No way. This the hair's moneymaker, baby. Shit's fire. I don't know about that. There's a Tobyville. Which <laughs> there is a bit of there's Toby Time, which I found out, which is I can't wrap my head around the fucking what, how that's working. Toby time. Yeah, two, everything's two minutes, oh, and it takes man. four hours. Four hours. To the point where we were, we were doing the show in AC, I'm like, I'm going out to have a cig. He's like, ah, just wait for me. It'll be two minutes. And I'm like, dude, you have there's four cameras to break down. There's fucking suitcases to pack up. He You're going to be it, fucking two hours. He likes to disappear in the airport, too. Oh, it's man. always fun. Where's Toby? Well, you guys are like, you, you guys are weird about that, though. You got to like, you have to be, you have to hold each other's belts. It's like you're in kindergarten. No, I leave him all the time. He's always 10 paces behind me, staring at the window. Pulling up to six. Yeah. (laughs) Pulling up your pants. Um, Yeah, I, I, hey, I'm efficient, man. I stick and I move. No time for lollygagging. Let's go. That's what I do. All right. It's a businessman. By the way, I applied for TSA pre check. For just you or all of us? Can't apply for you. What do you tell us? I I am telling you right now. All right. Well, I got to do it. (laughs) Okay. Hey, flock of seagulls, what's going on with the hair over there? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. If we get it, is Tootie going to cover that? Uh, that'll come up in our quarterly meeting. Yeah, she's covering it. I'm making an executive decision. Okay. Because I spent all my money. <laughs> That's why you, I really only gave my niece 20 bucks. <laughs> um, all right, this one's, from, this one's from William. Ever have a parent as a substitute teacher? Dude. That's got to fucking suck. I don't think I don't think we had that. I don't even think kids had. Oh, one kid uh his he was his mom was our Spanish teacher and she fucking sucked. Was she Everybody dick- hated her. Really? Every dude like I knew who she was be it was like you knew her before you got Were to Were they in high. class with you cuz I had that. I had he a teacher. Wasn't, no. Oh, I had a I had a teacher in elementary school where her daughter was was in cl- was in the class, Isn't there, there's got to be some kind of fucking, you know. Yeah, you mis- con- there's got to be something going on. You What's that think. conflict of interest? Yeah, it's like cops hooking up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> it's got to be frowned upon. Yeah, I mean, how can you unbiasedly, right or wrong, you know what I mean? Like grade your kid. Oh, I'd be fucking. Well, if my mom was fucking. I, I felt they were more dicks. Be on Easy Street. No, I don't know. The coaching was 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 tough too. When the coach's son or whatever, you know what I mean? I deal with that. He stunk. Yeah, it was all the coach's kid always got looks that he shouldn't have been getting. Yeah. He shouldn't have been. You got coach's son vibes. 
Yeah, my dad, T-ball. Really? The Cubs. Ooh, I, I, I heard they were good back in the day. Until the scandal. My dad taught, or coach. Did you guys ever do? Did you ever get hit by a ball in kid pitch? I'm sure. Kid not pitch. not that I remember, though. Dude, we had a kid hit so many players on our team, we had to forfeit. Really? I got beamed in the elbow, bro. He hit like nine kids. Yeah. And they wouldn't take him out. We, no, we never, I don't remember that. Also, I do remember we got in a fight in hockey after the game. The game was over. I think we, I think we won and we ran up the fucking points on them. And like the other te- the other team was like mad or whatever. Mm-hmm. And the parents got mad. That's what like they're like. This is a sh-, you know what I mean. The parents got mad at the coach for being like, "Yo, you're still let you're still running up the fucking play. it's like nine nothing or whatever you know like the nine point rule. Or Champions whatever. don't quit. Yeah, baby, we're going ham. <laughs> and I they didn't let something happened. It was in. That was always a big place to th- where it would throw down the slapping of the hands. Oh, because you would hit the other or like you would shoulder the kid, especially on skates when you had gloves on. Uh, of course, you would fucking you, yeah. And it was always like the coach was like, "Don't nobody do anything." And we made it halfway through that line, and a fucking <laughs> heater broke out of the, like ten. Don't nobody do that until I make a move. Dude, we were like ten, and we're like going at it at center ice. That's and, awesome. And fucking these parents. Maybe lasted about two seconds before they start fucking teeing off on each other. <laughs> Dude, they're falling down the bleachers and shit. Now we're all stopping. We turn around like, ah, oh, what the fuck? People are like, Mom, Dad, relax. Oh, Women a- were fighting. <laughs> it was a scene. All right. <laughs> Pillow fight? What are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, that's garbage, man. Yeah, it's tough. Getting thrown out of a game is a tough look. Ugh, yeah, God, yeah. Never. Never. Um. This one's from Big Head Gonzalez, uh, a long-time listener, first-time patron. You guys ever disagree with a family member till you both get a couple drinks and then they start making sense? I mean, I found that feels like every argument I think ever drunk, especially with my family. We get we get we get drunk and we. I see what you're no, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Well, that also happens. That's you, pretty true. That's true. It's true. It's true. It's you true. You see it when you're zoomed out that you're like. They're not listening to one another. They're just like no. they're just on a broken record. And that's a tough look when you're having a conversation with a with, with a, a relative, and like you don't agree or don't give a fuck. Yeah, t- no, no, you're right. You're yeah. right. True, true, true. I'm yeah. going to the bathroom. Are the hors d'oeuvres out? I think yeah. they just dropped dessert. See yeah, you later. No shit. Yeah. Brutal. Later. I've got it one time. Uh, <laughs> I was at my I was at a party and I was just walking by to like get a beer. Like I was walking by the kitchen. And I was like, you know, uh, like a lot of my own. There's just like a big group of fucking people. And they're like, yeah, like that New York liberal over there. I'm like, I'm not getting pulled in from fucking 15 feet away. You guys are just looking for an enemy. <laughs> Going over there doing fucking feet. Get him! Yeah, right. Just fucking hitting bats. And bear stuff. spray. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's see. What else do we got here? Um, this one's from Thomas. You guys ever throw garbage out the car window? In the eighties, the eighties and nineties, exclusively. <laughs> Dude, it was crazy. You just launch a bag of Mickey D's <laughs> out the window like it was nothing. That's just what you did. Well, I don't understand it, man. Looking back, it's so bad. It's crazy. Do we used to a family? Of- and that's when it was like the styrofoam. Like, I'm know. talking the whole bag. Oh, cups, drinks. Dude, you would eat a family of, of kids f- just throwing a disposable cooler out the window. <laughs> Dude, a family of four or five would be eating in like a minivan and then just like <laughs> out the fucking passenger window. Doing 80. Oh, crazy. <laughs> crazy. A t-shirt cannon full of fries. <laughs> that, I don't understand why that was more. Ex- they turned it around in the 90s. It was they like, did. this is. Yeah. I remember being a kid at some points being like this. I've seen the commercials that say this is bad, but <laughs> fucking launch it. Meanwhile, now recycling's a lie. They're just boxing it up, dumping it in an ocean. I say throw it in the streets. T-Bone anarchist over here. This guy doesn't like it. They're going to be doing street cleaning even more. Sounds like more commie talk to me. <laughs> no, I'm trying to, trying to make sure we got some good union jobs out there. Oh, um, that's very true. Those styrofoam Big Mac things. You, but you, do you remember those, or are you too little to remember McDonald's I think I'm too little. Also, I was always, I stayed in the chicken nuggies lane <laughs> at, their, at that there fast food. I still tend to, to be honest with you. Ain't nothing wrong with a couple of select chicken shrimps. Oh. Five-piece meal, I don't put you out. Ah, the McNugget, only one for me. That's my girl right Have there. Have you had the strips? I don't think I might. I, 
I mean, maybe when I was younger. It's too much. Too much McDonald's chicken for me, man. <laughs> They're good. They're real good. I don't good. think I trusted them. They 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 What's they've... select about them? They're just McNuggets glued together. It's like nerd's rope for chicken. <laughs> Chicken rope. And what do you think of hamburger? You know how many you know how many cows are in a hamburger? Everybody says this dumb fucking quote. Uh-huh. What are you? Sixty minutes? There's forty thousand different cows in one hamburger. It's a thousand. A thousand. Maybe forty thousand of the ones you eat. <laughs> I like to spread it around a little bit. <laughs> a little bit for- Taking out whole neighborhoods. You are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Damn, that's kind of tight. That's what tight? They, was it? Was, what's tight? You mean make you feel like Genghis Khan, man? Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're fucking, fucking you're out. clipping out people. <laughs> There's bloodlines that aren't living on because of you. <laughs> Took out a whole family of cows. <laughs> <sighs> they say that's bad for disease purposes. Mad cow disease. Mad cow. That's a great Seinfeld line. <laughs> it's not our fault. These cows are crazy. <laughs> Um, all right, this one's from Christian, never been read. You's ever been in a bar with, you ever been in a bar bathroom with no sink? I can't, the, the, the grossest bathroom I've ever been in was this place. It used to be, it was the Oakford Inn and then Scruples. It was a fucking strip club in our neighborhood. Scruples. Not our neighborhood, in our, you know, with like 15 minutes away or whatever. Scruples. Scruples. It's like a Superman villain. Scruples. Yeah, I don't know. It ain't a nice establishment. Ooh. It was the place where you would go, and then like you'd see it, like you would go in like college or whatever, when you're like home for fucking Christmas. It's gotta summer. have dolls or satin or something in it. Oh, Scruples. Scruples, the fantasy show bar. Scruples, let you touch. <laughs> yeah, Scruples sounds like an evil puppet. <laughs> Why don't you come over to Scruples? <laughs> Scruples wants to play. Yeah, it was. Uh... It wasn't the classiest place, but they had one of Scruples, those. Scruples, no! <laughs> they had a. Uh... Tell you the story of Scruples. They had one of those. <laughs> Evil little doll gives you chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> Murders to support his kid. <laughs> um, they had that reusable towel. In bath hand towel. Somebody in the posted bathroom. that not that long yeah. ago on Twitter or something like that. It was that. like the communal like cloth towel that you would use. I remember I using I wouldn't even go in there. Dude, I remember using one of those way too fucking recently. Ugh. How did they make it out of the fifties? I don't know. I definitely remember using one in the early two thousands in New York. Mm. They I mean it's insane, dude. It's insane. They can't be around now with the fucking COVID. Oh, my God. That for all we know, they could be flourishing. What? <laughs> for all we know, they could be flourishing. I mean, I don't think so, but it's neither here nor there. Dude, those things. They were the grossest. I read, dude, it's still stuck That's in my That's the mind. grossest thing ever. That's got to be. That's disgusting. But I think in theory, you pull it down and then it goes up. So do you pull down a clean? You're supposed to, but how much could be in there? I don't. I don't know. I'm not sh- fully sure how it works, and they are gross. Disgusting. And there's yeah, no way to know that it's not just looping back around like a treadmill. That's what I think it is. It's just like, you're, yeah, ooh, dude, in this place, it was so, it was one of the ones where the stage was only like fucking three and a half inches high because it had low drop ceiling. It was tough, tough look. <laughs> One of those, one of those drop ceilings definitely had a water stain on it. Uh, well, they were painted black. We were classy. Have you ever have you ever gotten anything from the guy that works in the bathroom? Like you ever grabbed a mint or anything like that, or some gum? Or I mean, you know me quite well, right? <laughs> Do you think I'm taking communal bathroom mints? One of my buddies took a Snickers from him one time. I was like, "What are you nuts?" <laughs> I've done maybe a piece of gum here and there. Uh, some of the good ones have Bernies, single Lucy's. What they got? A, oh yeah, some of the places I I frequent. They got. They'll have like a pack of. They'll have like a pack of lights and a pack of Newports or whatever. Damn. So what? Some Marlboro pink guys. <laughs> <laughs> lights. Um. Yeah. So you can go in there and grab one or two. You know, if you're not, if you're not like fully on a Bernie. Those anywhere. have to be going away, right? Those guys, unfortunately. I would assume. You can't just have some dude in some the some guy in the bathroom. Yeah. yeah the I ladies don't. have them. I think the it's ladies' more of a bathrooms guy. have. Uh, I mean, it'd be a woman, I guess. A matri- a, 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 a fucking oh, Cosmo's mom, mom. Did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's when you find out Cosmo. What did he call her? She was something. A matri- d. 
No, Mater D is the guy that seats you, that runs the restaurant, runs the floor. Can't remember what it was. I think it's a Mater D. No, something. But whatever. Yeah, I guess the girls have it too. But you never. What about a vending machine in the bathroom? You ever get anything out of there? I think I got in a couple of rubbers. <laughs> Back in the day when you were jammed up or whatever. Menthol. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think. Condo, I mean, what else would you when get? When you were a kid and you saw those, you thought they were interesting for like two seconds. And you're yeah. like, what the fuck? I would try not it's to aspirin make. Aspirin and fucking rubbers. <laughs> I would try not to make ball. eye contact with them. <laughs> <laughs> fucking peep a, peep a quick look right over. Um, well, in New York, they give the ones out. The NYC, they give sure, the yeah, NYC the, the condoms. Sure, yeah, fishbowl. Yeah, those yeah. are all right. So I've gone in. I think I've gone and used the bathroom and on the way out, grabbed a handful of Oh, okay, of not out of the actual vending machine. I'm sure I have. I remember doing that at Damn. some point. Is Lifestyle a prank brand? Is, like, the whole point of those that they're guaranteed to break? I don't know. Listen, a big man shooting his mouth off over Yeah, right? Here. I don't know. I don't. I never had, like, Lifestyle's a brand. Lifestyle's a reliable contraceptive. I think I would do Lifestyle's, ribbed for my pleasure, and <laughs> put it on backwards. <laughs> Hey, she's on her own. <laughs> <laughs> she's in the other room. What are you talking about? Me for herself. I'm doing a dress rehearsal. Is that what you're saying? That you're so big that fucking lifestyle? Uh, uh, no, no, I'm just saying that they break. They're like fucking pinatas, those things. Ah, get out of here. They're all the same. Yeah, I never had. Too big. I never had a brand where I was pretty good. <laughs> Baggy. <laughs> Plenty of room. <laughs> Plenty of room to stretch out. <laughs> It's like Delta Premier in there. Three dicks in this condom. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Um, I never had a brand where I was like a go-to. No, I was always whatever's yeah. clever. Want to get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Grab a drink. I know it's a really cool bar. There's free cigarettes in the bathroom. Um, all right, this one's from Josh. You know anyone that can open a bottle of beer with their teeth? I saw a woman do this not not long ago, front row at a show. She fucking popped Where? Up. He in New York? Here in New York. Yeah. Front row. Attractive lady, too. Front row rooftop show during oh, the pandemic. God Her and her damn. boyfriend popped one off. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. That's no good. I, My boy Pat does it. And we're like, I think he cracked a tooth one. We're like, all right, you got to fucking. Yeah, I don't like that. You got to stop it. Any, I'm not even good with the lighter. Dude, and my wife has to do it for me. Very emasculating. <laughs> I know. Twist off, you pussy. <laughs> That's a beer can. <laughs> I can't get it. Anything like that. And doing the teeth, doing the spit that can go all the way down and pull it back oh, up. I mean, what, who's doing? What is this? Big Daddy? Who's doing that? No one's doing that. Did you Did you have any gleekers? Gleekers? Yeah, you, know, you don't like the, the gleek? It's where you, you, it's like you move your tongue in a way that spits the spit out of your Ooh, mouth. Oh, those kids. No. No the way. The lizard people. Yeah, no way. I remember. I, I can do it at will. You want to see it? No. You, you spit fucking chicken salad on me the other day. I can do it, but there was a kid that went to another school that Gleekers. the legend went, the legend, the went, legend went, he can lift up his tongue and it would just shoot out like a constant stream. My buddy used to always say, oh, you can see he went to, he went to grade school with him. And a one day we're at a gas station. Sure as shit, this kid's there. He runs up. He's like, "Do it." Kid knew exactly what he was talking about. Turned to the side and just went a, a, a stream, a continuous stream of whatever that juice is. Spit. Just kept going. He could do it at will as long as he wanted. Gleekers. It's like an X Men. Yeah, Gleekers. An X Men. Yeah. That's what it's called. It's called gleeking. Hey, lightly and hey, lightly annoy this evil villain, will you? <laughs> Uh, Back Tito's coming. Gross him out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I saw we had a guy. We had a guy who could puke on demand, and uh, that's a good time when you're in seventh <laughs> grade. I gotta tell you, could puke on demand. Yeah. Would he have to stick his fingers nope. down his throat? All ab work. Just <laughs> ew. Yeah. Damn. Mm -hmm. What's he doing now? I don't know. He's doing pretty well, I think. Got out of a couple of checks that way. What? Yeah, he would be like, I'm sick. And then he would, Wah! not in the place, but like outside. He would like act like he got sick. Well, he would get himself sick and be like, well, I don't feel well. And then run outside and puke. And we're like, we got to do this. And they're like, get out of here. I mean, it was for like a slice of pizza and a wild cherry Coke. But yeah, <laughs> any hey, a win's a win. You're speaking my language. Yeah. Excuse me. Wild cherry Pepsi, cherry Coke. Yeah, yeah, sorry. You're not a Pepsi guy. A wild cherry Pepsi at Aldo's for sure. That Growing up, that's mm -hmm. where we went. Yeah, cherry Coke. Get the plague. Um, 
What was I just going to... Oh, we had a... Do you have a kid that could make himself fart? I had a kid that could light his farts on fire. Anybody could do that. I did that really. two weeks ago. Yeah, he did it in the plane the other day. <laughs> did it on stage. Um, we had a kid that could make himself fart. He would hear him suck oh, air gross. in his asshole. And he then do it. And we made him do it in the pool one time. He just sucked in one, and then like shit. <laughs> like just liquid shit everywhere. Oh, what the Not fuck? Not in the pool. Also, we had a kid that had webbed feet. Found that out when I was like eight. <sighs> Holy shit. Tough, dude. That was a bad day at camp. Good that swimmer? Kid came, that kid came in the pool. We were like, what in the fuck is that, dude? Yikes. Hey, Aquaman. Hit the, hit <laughs> yeah, the fucking hey. You, you hang out in the hot tub. I thought, I was, you would think those kids are good swimmers, but I don't think they are. I don't think it's enough. I mean, no? it's not like a flipper. It's just like a fucking, you know, little piece of skin. Man, he had ugly toes, too. I'm got to switch subjects. <laughs> We got to do one or two more, and then we got to get out of here. That's going to make me throw up, I promise. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Okay, let's get out of here on this one. This one's from Michael. First question asks, have you ever had a homeowner's insurance claim that you delay getting the work done and just deposit the check into your bank account so you have a few exposed pipes or drywall in your home? I didn't know you were allowed to do that. What? You were allowed to do that with the insurance money? Yeah, you decide on whether or not you... I don't know how... Really? Yeah, I don't think you have to get the work. You can choose. That's why, like, people who crash their car, mm-hmm. they're like, "Yeah, I got a thousand, twelve hundred dollars from the whatever," and they just sort of like, oh, "I'll just drive around with a banged up fucking car." Could twelve hundred sitting on my on my hip? You need it? You got like fucking? You got to pay rent, something like that. Yeah, yeah. We never had any insurance issues ever growing. We've up. had some flooding and stuff like that. My parents had to deal with some shit. Mm-hmm. Now they always they always get it done right away. Yeah, they want it done. That's pretty garbage, man. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. If I had something like that, if I could use the twelve hundo, and I'm like, I'm not having a, the twelve hundo. I'm not if having it's a something party. Like Thirty grand. Oh yeah. Yeah. Patch that up for five. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting tight. Yeah. Twenty five jihads. Yeah. Oh yeah. You always go. You go low. You get take the low estimate. You turn in the high one. You go low. Oh yeah. They go high. We go low. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Arm and a leg. Arm and a leg. They're charging. Yeah. They said they want three guys out here. <laughs> Get your Uncle Steve to do it. Ah, Good times here, Kip. That was a fun one, buddy. Great family episode, gang. We love you very much. You guys are amazing. Kippy, what do you got for me? Anything you want the kids out there to know? Uh, at Kevin Rank Comedy on all social media. Follow the Are You Garbage pages. We're almost at 10K on both, I believe, Twitter and Instagram. So check those out. Uh, and then, you know, YouTube, uh, iTunes, and... Patreon. We fucking love every single one of you guys. Thank you so much. Tours cooking. We appreciate every single person that has come out yeah. to see us live. It's cool to meet everybody. It's cool to meet you. Take pictures. You guys have been fucking absolutely amazing, and we fucking greatly, greatly appreciate it. And we're looking forward to the fucking the the, the rest of this run. Yeah, guys. We have a we have a lot of shows coming up. A lot of shows coming up. If you're not familiar, it's uh you know we do some stand up and then we play AYG with the crowd, which is turning out to be fucking bonkers. So fun. The fucking audience is having a blast. We're having a, it's a really good time. Uh, and we also have shirts on the road that are only available on the road. So come out and see us, gang. We yeah. love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.